In this video, we're going to discuss the radio behavior. So this one's actually really simple, uh, but there is a little bit to cover uh, just because there's some things about it that you should really know if you're going to, going to use it. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. I'm going to press E to use, and that'll begin the first track. channel. A little Mozart. Let's switch the channel one more time. There we go, there's something appropriate. So we've got the, the music like playing. The in fact, I'm gonna dedicate this song to Necrom, uh, just because in case you guys don't already know, let me stop the music. Um, Necrom lives in Australia, and so right now it's summer in Australia, so I bet he is dreaming of white Christmas. So that goes out to you, Necrom. Happy holidays, and thank you for all that you do. Uh, so let's take a look and see how the radio behavior works and some of those nuances that I mentioned. Okay, so here is the the radio. Now this could, you know, obviously be applied to anything, but I just had a radio here, so I was like, all right, apply it to that. Um, some pretty standard uh, features right away. We've got the E to use prompt that we all know and love. Uh, we have the use range, which is just how close do you have to be in order to interact with the object. Um, and then we have a checkbox here that says already on. So if I were having that checkbox checked by default, then the radio would start immediately as the uh, the level started, which I obviously didn't want. I wanted to be able to turn it on uh, at will. So I left that unchecked. And we have four sound slots, but one of these sound slots is not for music. One of these sound slots, if you look at the text here, says tuning sound. So that that you heard between each time I changed the, the station, that's what that sound was, was a short little, you know, staticky sound that I put in, in between. Um, so bear that in mind. So that leaves us all with only three audio uh, slots to use, which you might be thinking, well, that's kind of limited. How am I supposed to make a proper radio with only three channels? Well, unfortunately, that's what we're uh, limited to right now. I, I did actually talk to Necro about that and ask, like, is this something where we could just expand this, add, you know, as many channels as we wanted, just copy and paste the code maybe. And he says, no, it's it, right now it's a limitation in max. It will get better. Things will get expanded later. Uh, but for right now, we are limited to this many sound slots. So just bear that in mind. Um, the other thing I'll point out is that whatever audio you put into these slots is going to automatically loop at the end. So if I let some of these clips go for too long, then it would just immediately start over again. It would just continue on like that. Um, so in my demonstration, I'm pretty much quickly changing the channel so that it doesn't happen. Um, I was thinking about that and I was thinking, well, you know, doesn't that really limit how I might use this radio? And I think it, it kind of does, if I'm honest. But one scenario I thought of that it would be really kind of cool for would be post-apocalyptic, right? So imagine something, you know, think Fallout, where uh, all the radio stations are pretty much down, except for maybe there's one beacon that's playing an emergency broadcast that's on repeat. That's perfect. That's exactly what you need. Um, so, you know, think about how you want to use this and how you expect the, the player to interact with this. Um, this could be a CB radio, uh, where you're just getting some sort of um, communique from some other place. There's different ways that you can use this. Don't think just music. Um, I did music because I wanted to, you know, make the, the White Christmas joke. And I also wanted to highlight uh, that uh, Make It Out, that song, that first song that you heard, is actually my niece. Uh, my niece, Jamee, is a talented musician, singer, songwriter, uh, guitarist, drummer. 
Um, so I'm going to leave a description, uh, a link to her website in the description below. If you want to check that out, if you liked what, uh, what she had, uh, but thought, Hey, you know what? Great opportunity to promote my niece's music as well. So I went with music, but like I said, you could use it for a lot of different ways, a lot of different reasons, but that's it. That's everything you need to know about the radio behavior. If you enjoyed the video or if you learned anything new, I'd appreciate you click the like button down below. That helps me out. Uh, if you're new here or if you just haven't subscribed yet, we'd love to have you stick around. And don't forget to click the bell icon for notifications. And anytime new, new videos come out, that'll let you know. Uh, thanks so much for watching all the way through. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.